Good morning and welcome back from the weekend, folks. So uh, glad to bring Almas Market Mornings, your daily dose of global financial updates with the objective to deliver the updates that actually matter and influence the financial markets. Uh, though uh, the markets were seen with some bit of a hangover from the uh, Jackson Hole event, you know, uh, like the kind of moves we've seen in our off-market hours, uh, it's going to be an interesting start to the week. Uh, equities have slipped significantly. Uh, dollar, we've seen strengthening again, and currencies uh, against dollars are battered as usual. There's also some uh, bit of a huge move that we've seen in the off-market hours while there are certain things that we need to understand from the testimonies and the speeches that we've heard over the Jackson Hole event. So, JK, I'd like you to throw some light over here and, you know, tell us what should we be expecting. Hey, hello, good morning, uh, Shikhar. We are really into a turbulent Monday morning uh, as uh, all the markets are under stress and uh, mainly taking cues from whatever Powell said. Uh, market was, in fact, uh, preparing for a hawkish uh, Fed, but uh, perhaps not uh, prepared for the kind of clear-cut message on the rate path that he has given. See, he is emphasized that uh, the September rate hike, you, uh, you know, hinges on that data, but he says there will be a hike, which is, you know, not ruling out a 75 BP off the table. And he acknowledged that rates have to move much higher and stay there for much longer period. So that is the key message that uh, he is uh, given to the market. And uh, so there is no soft peddling on inflation that they are doing for the Fed. It appears uh, the stock market does not matter. Uh, slow down, even a hard landing does not matter. And uh, currencies, of course, probably uh, least lost in their list of uh, concerns right now. So I think it was a clear license for the market to sell everything and buy the dollar. Stocks were sold very heavily. Uh, major indices in the US were down more than 3%. Uh, they have been down uh, more than 4% for the last week. And yields uh, on the long tenor were marginally up with the two year is up into a new cycle high. And uh, so I think it was not just a uh, Powell, but also messages from many other central banks were also very clear. Many uh, speakers from ECB were also there and, um, and on the very summit, they st spoke about uh, not uh, relenting on the inflation fight. In fact, it's a surprise that ECB, even, ECB members are even talking about a 75 basis points hike in their meeting, uh, which is coming up in uh, September. And uh, they also said that one should not relent based on some retracements on inflation and it has to go on till the target is uh, achieved, which is what even Powell said that while July inflation coming lower was uh, good, but it was not good enough. Uh, yeah, as, as I say that, you know, PC core inflation on uh, uh, the Friday, just which was released just before uh, the, you know, Powell's uh, speech came lower than expected. And uh, even the uh, core month on month, as well as the year on year were lower, but uh, market uh, obviously listened uh, over to Powell more intently. Uh, there have been other uh, central bankers who have been speaking as well, like uh, significantly Bank of Korea central banker re said that, uh, you know, they're uh, keen to keep the inflation down and they'll keep hiking rates so long as it is uh, uh, necessary. And even, the, he has even mentioned the currency as, you know, they will do whatever is required to see that uh, there is no uh, hurdle, uh, you know, approach in uh, uh, selling the currency. Uh, interesting uh, observation that he made that uh, they are independent from the government, but not from the Fed. So that is what is very relevant even for a central bank like India. Now, Indian domestic scenario is good. The growth is uh, not bad and inflation has been in fact uh, slightly moderating. But uh, I don't think RBI can uh, uh, step back uh, from their inflation fight or rate hike path because uh, uh, doing so would make uh, rupee less attractive and uh, subject to bigger sell-off uh, in the rupee or a slide in its value, which they would like to avoid and uh, bringing back higher inflation into focus. So I think 
uh, the focus is definitely on currencies by the central bank. There is no direct action that they are taking, but definitely the currencies are on their radar. Even in the ECB's uh, members' statements, it was evident that you know euro value is in their mind because that adds to the inflation. Uh, so that I don't think that a very uh, the mere concern is helping, and because. Uh, the speculators and the investors, in fact, are also uh, seeing a clear path for the dollar still higher until uh, something different happens uh, from the Fed or if we see a uh, sustainable fall in the inflation. I think that that probably will have to wait for one more inflation data in the second week of uh, September. Before that, we have a very busy week this week. Uh, then we have non-farm ending with the uh, non-farm payroll and the jolts jobs data, ISM uh, indication on the manufacturing and services data. So all in all, uh, it's a hawkish scenario, not good for the risk assets uh, and uh, stock market. And uh, uh, in fact, uh, surprisingly, even uh, the safe, uh, traditional safe havens, uh, yen and gold have taken a hit because it's, it's dollar, which is the king now. And uh, that that's where we start the market. Uh, uh, the In fact, uh, the Friday's move on the stock indices has settled uh, the debate whether the uh, move up we saw from middle of uh, June till July was, uh, uh, you know, um, a reversal. But I think that debate has been put to rest and uh, it's definitely now considered as a summer rally or a bear market rally. And uh, looking at the technicals and the fundamentals, more losses should be in store uh, for the market. For the rupee, uh, where we have more concerns, I think uh, AT, the magical mark, is likely to be broken today. Uh, as we have seen in the recent past, a break of any significant level does not uh, really uh, result in a panic of move in the dollar, and that is what the central bank is keen about. They will not like to hold the 80 as a sacrosanct level when the dollar is overall strong. Uh, I think 80 will break and the move will move towards 80 20. Then we'll take uh, one step at a time, depending on how the dollar index uh, performs. Euro perhaps could be a little bit more supported above 99 because of the hockey statement from the ECB. But uh, uh, no, uh, again, the 0.99 is not sacrosanct again. And the uh, market is really not going to stop buying the dollar until they see a very clear message from the economy or from the central bank. And those things look a bit too far away right now. Okay, wonderful, JK. And uh, folks, we are, as JK mentioned, about to look the uh, action for USD INR around the 80 magical handle. Uh, quite good probability that we'll see uh, USD INR cross the 80 level and trade a little higher on those fronts. But what do we also see is the aggressive actions by the central bank. Uh, central bank speeches in the Jackson Hole event uh, showed some bit of uh, good actions expected out of uh, the uh, central banks on the inflation front. Whereas ECB, they, they made statements like sacrifice, uh, we need to sacrifice something to curb inflation. And there's also expectations of 75 basis point kind of rate hikes. So uh, there is good action uh, and similarly the reaction from these uh, central bank actions and the economic data releases that we are expecting. So lots of things to uh, see, but what we are actually understanding and seeing is the Indian domestic scenario looks good and we are fairly stable when you compare it with the economies, be it EMs or the developed markets. That's it for today, folks. We'll come up with another round of fresh updates just for you guys tomorrow morning again. Till then, thank you so much for listening.